In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add fonts to Photoshop from dafont.com. Okay, this is a font website where you can get hundreds and thousands of different fonts for Photoshop and apps like that. Okay, so I'm actually on a Mac right now, but I'll show you the process of how to do it on Mac and I'll explain how to do it on a PC too. So for an example, if I want to use this font right here, all you need to do is click on the download button for that specific font and now the font has been downloaded and it's in my downloads folder okay so let me just find it here real quick okay so here's the zip file of the font right here bitcheese.com okay so now that the font is on my desktop right here all you need to do if you're on a pc is to click on right click on your mouse and then it'll have an install font button right there and then you just install the font if you're on a mac you just double click the file and that will extract the file then what you need to do is search for a application called font book this application right here then you just want to go to file and this is the process for mac uh, click add fonts to current user and then you want to select the font file right here so then i'll click on open and now it's validating the fonts and or if there's any errors with it uh, they will uh, tell you about the errors okay so let me search for it real quick to see if it installed it and here it is right here but cheese has been successfully installed okay so now that should be on my system i can close this and then you want to go ahead and open up photoshop okay now if photoshop was open previously you just want to close it and restart it so i'm just going to close photoshop real quick okay photoshop has been closed i'm going to reopen photoshop um let me just force quit it completely okay now that photoshop has been closed completely i'm going to reopen it and make sure it reopens so it gives that splash screen in the beginning so you know it's a fresh um, open on photoshop so i'll just give that some time to load as you can see photoshop is now loading up and it should have that new bit cheese font that i just installed so like i mentioned if you're on a pc just right click on the font file that you downloaded from the font and then click on install font and then reopen photoshop quit it completely and then you want to reopen Photoshop. So once that loads, we'll see the new font in Photoshop. Okay, so now that Photoshop has opened, I'm just going to open up a new project. I'll go File New and then uh, create something new real quick. And then I'll go to the text um, part of Photoshop and then type some text here. And then I'll go to the font selection here. And then let me see if it uh, appears here. So it's called Bit Cheese so here it is right here but cheese the font that we just installed so here it is right here so it's called but cheese and here's the new font right here this is perfect and i can uh, use the new font and you just repeat that process for as many fonts as you want okay from the font so if this helped you out drop a like onto this video and i'll see you in the next one